This is Professor Diaz, and in this video, I'm going to share with you my definition of economy. At its most basic level, an economy is a system, okay? An economy is a system. What is a system? Uh, typically, when people think of system, um, they think of maybe an engine, uh, something that has multiple parts that come together to uh, accomplish some specific task or purpose. Uh, other people have thought of maybe the nervous system, which really, again, is multiple parts coming together uh, to accomplish a specific purpose. Or the digestive system, another uh, example of a system, you've got um, different parts in the human digestive system, starting with the teeth and saliva and your esophagus going down to your stomach, your where um, nutrients are absorbed and so on and so forth and and that's all a system that's that's designed to do something specific namely convert food to energy energy and nutrition for humans right um, but not all systems are the same some systems um, even if you think about the digestive system are different from say animal to animal right uh, cows have a very different digestive system than humans. Humans have one stomach. Cows have multiple stomachs. Uh, humans chew their food once. <laughs> cows chew their food multiple times, right? Um, it's just a very different system. However, that system accomplishes the same thing, namely taking food and turning it into energy and minerals um, to keep the body running, right? So an economy is a system. There's different types of systems, different types of economies. Um, they, they do uh, something, and we're going to talk about that, but they, they all operate a little bit differently. Okay, so an economy is a system, but it's not just a system. It's, it's more than a synonym with system. Um, an economy is a specific type of system. An economy is a system that allocates. Okay, an economy is a system that allocates. What does allocate mean? Allocate means to distribute. Um, again, there's multiple ways to allocate things. If I have cookies and I'm gonna allocate them to my class, I can give everybody one cookie. I can give uh, people with A's two cookies, people with B's one cookie, and people with C's no cookies. Um, I can give uh, the boys two cookies and the girls three cookies. Uh, there's all kinds of different ways that you can allocate, right? So an economy is specifically a system, a system that allocates, right? That's, an, that's what an economy is. It's a system that allocates. But allocates what? An economy is a system that allocates scarce resources. Scarce resources. Scarce, what does scarce typically mean? Usually when we use the word scarce, we mean rare, okay? We would say diamonds are scarce, right? Um, but when we're talking in economic terms, scarce means limited, okay? Scarce equals limited. So anything that's limited is by definition scarce, okay? so. Almost every resource is limited. We don't have unlimited of anything, really. Um, we don't have unlimited water. We don't even have unlimited air. Um, we, we, everything is limited, right? And so the, the thing is that, that scarce resources are scarce. And we talk about this, this concept called scarcity, right? Um, scarcity is the idea that everything is limited, right? Everything is limited. All resources are limited. And what resources typically do we talk about in economics? Well, we talk about all kinds of different resources, but money is the resource, uh, kind of the king of all resources, because with money, you can buy all other resources. And with money, uh, we understand value. When I say $15, you know what $15 is worth. When I say $1,000, you know what $1,000 is worth, right? And so an, an, an economy is a system that allocates scarce, which means limited, resources okay that's what an economy is it's something that allocates um, but who or what these this economy is a system that allocates scarce resources to people I'm not going to take any time to define what people are you know what people are right um, you and me so an economy is a system it's a system that allocates scarce resources, which means limited resources, to people, you and me, 
with unlimited. What does that mean? It's the opposite of limited, right? Unlimited means no limit. Limited means some limit, right? People with unlimited desires. Okay, so bringing it all together, an economy, the definition, is a system that allocates scarce or limited resources, primarily money, to people with unlimited desires. That's what an economy does. It's a system, and there's different types of economies. You've probably heard of more capitalistic economies or more socialistic or communistic com uh, economies. You, you have... Um, lots of different ways that things could be allocated, right? In, in this country, typically how money is allocated is you go get a job. If you want something, you work and then you buy it. Um, but people have grown up in that co economy, that system, they take it for granted, right? Um, there's lots of other ways you could have that would be legitimate systems. What if we what if we went to a primitive might makes right system, right? Whoever's the strongest and the biggest gets what they want. Um, if you want something, you don't pay for it. You just take it if you're strong enough, right? Is that a system? Yes. Does it allocate? Yes. Does it allocate scarce resources? Sure. To people? And do those people have unlimited desires? Yes. So um, that would be an economy. Is it an economy you want to live in? Probably not. I forgot, and let's take a minute to go back and talk about these unlimited desires. Um, people by nature generally want more stuff. That's, that's a basic economic problem, right? People want more stuff. Um, you never have enough money. You're never strong enough. You're never smart enough. You're never famous enough. You never have a big enough house. You never have enough toys. Um, generally, people's desires are unlimited in terms of economic resources, right? People are always trying to get more. If somebody offers you a, a raise at work, you don't say, oh, no, I've got enough, thank you. Um, you've, you've never talked to a rich person that says, yeah, I don't, I don't need any more money. People's desires for uh, scarce resources is unlimited, right? And this really um, kind of defines the economic problem. This is the economic problem, right? Um, resources are scarce, which means limited. But people have a desire for unlimited resources, right? So if resources are limited, but people want an unlimited amount of resources, then how do we decide who gets them? Who, how is the system going to allocate it? Well, that's what an economy is, right? This is answering the fundamental problem of who gets what. I like to say that an economy determines the haves and the have-nots, right? Have you ever thought about why, you know, you're rich or not rich and your neighbor is rich or not rich? Right? Why do some people in the United States have lots of money and other people have a little bit of money? Why do some people have great big old houses and some people live in an apartment? Right? What determines the have and the have nots? Right? In the United States, we our economy is built on this idea of capitalism and free markets, right? We're gonna talk a lot about that in this course. But again, it doesn't have to be that way. We could have a system where um, everybody puts all their money into a pot and the government reallocates it so that everybody has the same amount of money. Would that be a system? Sure. Would that system allocate? Yep. Does it allocate scarce resources? Sure. To people with unlimited desires? Yes. So would that be an economy? Definitely. Right? So there's all kinds of economies, right? And some of them are crazy um, and work terribly and some of them work really well. And we're going to talk about that in this class. So that's the basic definition of an economy. Again, just one more time. An economy is a system, okay? Lots of different types of economies and systems. For it to be an economy, it has to allocate scarce resources. We're primarily talking about money. Oops. And it's, it's to people with unlimited desires. The problem is the resources are scarce, the resources are limited, but the desires are unlimited. This is a problem. And economics tries to solve or at least um, address that fundamental issue.